I love the city man. Knowing the Lord had called me to preach when I was a teen, wanted to be discipled and trained, so that led me to the South. And after a few years in the South, the Lord called me back in. 20 years old. And I knew the Lord had called me to preach this gospel and make disciples here, to fulfill the commission where I was born and did my, my growing up. Came back here, officially started Calvary Chapel, 1985. So how many years is that been? However many years that has been, me and Matt are not tight. It's been that long. I was young and I didn't have a scheme or a plan. I really had nothing more than the example, you know, of Pastor Chuck and others and the Great Commission. The commission was to make disciples. That's one of the chapter of, of Acts, that, that um, little pastor's conference with the Apostle Paul and the elders from Ephesus is significant because he tells us that discipleship is verbal instruction together with modeling it. And it is being with people through seasons and doing those seasons, demonstrating how seasons are to be done by somebody who is actually living and demonstrating faith. Real discipleship is sharing your life with somebody. It's verbal instruction, but also with the daily demonstration, consistent demonstration that this is what we do. This is what this principle looks like. And if you're discipling, then you're discipling people to disciple. You're discipling disciplers. You're training trainers. Being fortunate to have received so much, I was conscious of the need to invest much in men. You see somebody worthy of that investment, spend time with them. It's kind of simple to recognize leaders because people are going to them and getting their counsel, but people are following their example or they're following their, their lead. And that, that, that is the way to identify a leader is, are there people following them? In some cases, there, there are guys you, you look at and you go, you know too much to be just sitting here nodding. You know too much. You need to go take what you know somewhere.